Hey guys, what's up? This is Easy, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys a really cool, um, kind of fire, flint, steel, water, whatever you want to call it, kind of glitch. So this is basically how the glitch works. All you gotta do is place like a nether rack on the bottom, like so, and then you just place uh, two blocks of ice like that. I know that this isn't creative, so it's not actually that easy to do in survival, but it is possible to do in survival. And what we're gonna do is just set the nether rack on fire with the flint steel and wait for the ice block to melt. Now, I was actually testing um, the flint steel with a lot of materials in the creative mode just now, just because I was just bored. And I actually discovered that there's a really cool glitch that you can actually use to your advantage. Now, I'll show you what you can use this kind of trick for your advantage in a second, just as soon as uh, this ice melts. And you guys are going to see what exactly is going to happen. So first of all, your first probable... Probably your first thought is that once the ice melts, the water is just going to um, get rid of the fire and like spread all over, right? Well, um, you guys are going to see in just a second as... Soon as this ice melts, that, sometimes it takes a long time depending on, um, cause usually it's just totally random, the, the fire will eventually melt the ice at some point. Um, sometimes it can take a few minutes, but for me it takes a few seconds, but for some reason now it's not taking that, um, <laughs> not taking that amount of time. But once this melts, you guys are gonna see exactly how cool this uh, glitch can be. And yes, you can do this in uh, survival, although the only problem is that you need to find some ice in survival and you have to make sure that it's just one block of ice and that you also have netherrack, which is, I know it's a bit of a challenge because this trick will only work with netherrack because that's how the fire is going to keep going. Um, only netherrack can do that. I'm not sure if obsidian can do that as well, but I'm pretty sure it's just fire, uh, sorry, just netherrack. And so, sorry, if you can hear my dog, that's my dog barking. Usually she just barks for no apparent reason, I'm not really sure why. And man, this is taking a long time. Hmm, just give it a second, I know it's a, it's a really slow process. Just because uh, I could I could put lava um, in the area just to influence it. So that there's more fire, like a fire influence on the ice. But I don't know if I should, it's just, this is taking a little bit long, a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is just to, just to speed it up, it's not going to like uh, disturb anything, is that I'm going to put fire around it just to kind of force it to melt a little bit faster. There you go, there you go, there's the fire. Okay, so now, as you're going to see, uh, let me just get rid of the fire actually, actually uh, fire is going to get rid of it. So you've seen the ice melt, and for some odd reason, it actually is not going to, it's not actually spreading anywhere. And if you look even carefully, the fire right under is still burning, like right there. Can you see that? Um, as the fire around it's slowly disappearing, um, the water is not going anywhere. And this is very well much water, because as you can see, I'm floating up it, and um, the fire is still burning right under, which is uh, quite uh, interesting. So, I actually, I discovered this glitch right when I was testing, uh, again, what I said when I was testing with uh, flint steel with other materials, and it turns out that it can actually do this with ice, and I've tested this in survival as well, and it does work. So now that um, you've seen this, but there are a few flaws. So first of all, here are the couple things. Now, you can put a block, you can put any kind of block around the fire, but the minute, the minute this water makes contact with anything in a one block radius, so either if that's from the top or from the sides, this is what happens. You do that, and all of a sudden, the water starts flowing. So that's a really strange kind of thing. And, uh, like I said, this will only, this works, this will only happen if you put a block anywhere close to the water. Now, now that you guys know the trick, I'm actually going to show you guys this little, uh, mechanic that I've worked on. So, what I've done is that I've made water flow, and I put it in this, like, box kind of plus shape. And in the, right in the middle, oops, there's some sheep right there. <laughs> the sheep are not supposed to be there for this demonstration of what I'm going to show you. So, let's kind of just get rid of the sheep, and as you can see, the sheep are kind of getting in the way, so I'm going to have to kill them. Okay, so I've made this kind of box shape, as you can see, there's water flowing, but right in the center, that's where the netherrack is, and the water is not just in the netherrack, and I've built this uh, ring with uh, some cobblestone slabs, cobblestone brick slabs, sorry, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, I want to set up the ice, like so, and I'm going to break the one on the bottom, just so that you can do that, now, this is really important, because this is what I'm going to show you guys for this uh, trick, um, 
before before I light the ice on fire, I'm actually gonna put blocks around it, and you guys are gonna see what why I'm doing this. So now I'm gonna light the netherrack on fire once again, and um, as you can see, there's blocks like in a one block radius all around the ice. So when it does melt, you guys you guys are gonna see what what happens. So I've already showed you what happens when um, when there's let's just do it again just for just for the sake of showing. So let's pretend that this nether rock is the ice again. So once that ice melts and becomes water, the minute you put a block right beside it, either from the sides or from the top, then that water is going to disperse and get rid of the fire. But in this case, what I'm, what I'm doing is that before it even melts into water, um, the game still thinks that the water is still, like the game sees the ice block as, um, it, like when it turns into water, I mean, the game thinks that it's still an ice block. But because you put like items, you put blocks around it before it turns into water, um, the water will think the game, sorry, the game will think that the water is still a block and the water won't actually um, get affected by the blocks around it. So as soon as this fire actually burns the ice, because it does take a long time, uh, according to my theory back there, but the reason why I'm doing this in this kind of pattern is, is that um, this is a really cool um, kind of mob killing kind of thing. Because it, it, as, as, as soon as this ice can melt, I want to show you guys what happens to, the, to the, the flow of the water. So as you can see, the water starts actually like right here. And as it's flowing down, it's just going in a one-way direction, as you can see, right? Same thing for these guys. Um, they're all going in the same exact direction, just one way. And what's going to happen is that once that ice block melts, there's going to be a really cool, um, fascinating thing that actually happens. Normally when water is going downwards, but there's water from other directions going in, in its path, the water from the, the centralized water would, is actually going to um, kind of mess, mess up this flow of water. So what's going to happen is that, um, in theory, if this, if this ice block melts, it should push the water back um, this way and actually cause like some sort of disturbance in the center for each uh, direction right here but um, You guys, you guys are gonna see that that's not gonna be the case in this uh, in this moment also um, If you want if you're wondering how I made this um, It's pretty simple. All you got to do is make put like four rows of make sure that the wa like make sure that the spacing is the trenches I mean is eight blocks long and that there's uh to test it just make sure uh just start out by digging like nine blocks down and then put a water flow right uh, on one of the edges and then until you see that the block in the center is not covered w with water then you can repeat the process by making a plus sign like so now for some reason this is taking a really long time to uh, melt and i'm not sure by i'm not sure if putting fire around it like this would yeah it doesn't really do anything so all we can do is just kind of wait for this to happen but um i guess as we're waiting for this i'm going to show you guys some other other uh, tricks that i've been uh other things that i kind of worked on so we're gonna wait we're gonna let that uh, go for a second now here i was actually trying to do a similar theory i was trying to see if um, this would work with lava now because there's no uh lava like block that i can do only buckets of lava i tried to do the same trick with uh lighting the fire in the netherrack and seeing if the lava would just stay put on top of the fire but it didn't work it all what happened is that the lava started flowing down and i did the same thing with regular water and the same thing happened so this only works with ice. It does not work with water buckets, so you cannot uh, try to cheat your way through this. And uh, like I said, it is a bit of a hassle to get the uh, to actually get the ice into into uh, a survival in a survival world because you can't just you can't just get an ice block um, unless that's going to come in a later update, which probably. Probably if by the time that you, you're watching this video and there is an update for Minecraft Pocket Edition and that you can't get ice blocks in survival mode, then this is going to be irrelevant. But for now, again, we're still waiting for this block of ice to melt. Oh my goodness, it's taking a really long time. So let's just let's let's just give it a second. Now I actually don't know I don't know any other way to speed up the process. I yeah I'm trying like uh. I can't really put any more flint steel anywhere, but what I'm gonna do, just for, um, for the sake of really speeding it up, I'm going to try and influence the ice by putting um, lava around it by the cor for, for, by the four corners, and I kind of messed up there, but that's okay. So we're gonna put the lava here. So even though that, um, even though that there's a uh, stone stone bricks all around the ice protecting it from the heat of the lava, 
the presence, the lava's presence will still have a slight effect because uh, even though there's blocks like covering it, it's still going to kind of influence it to melt a little bit faster. So now that we've done that, we're going to just uh, get the bucket, wait for this thing to melt because it will melt. Trust me, it's going to melt. It just takes a, an extremely long time, especially for creative. Uh, for survival, I'm not sure if the rate for ice melting uh, is different, but um, don't worry. Just give it a second. Um, actually, wait, did I, no, um, okay, well, hold on, I'm gonna check if I've already made this, I can't remember if I've already, cause I, I was testing this, like, a few, just a while back ago, and I did the same kind of thing, where I put some ice, and wait, did it melt? Oh, yeah, it melted, it melted, okay, 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 so now, this is what I've been waiting for, so let's just take, get, get rid of the lava, because now I'm gonna show you guys the trick that I was talking about. So, as you can see, this is the most bizarre water glitch I've ever seen. First of all, um, you, the, the water's there this time, but there's blocks on it, but it's still going. You can clearly see the fire still burning, but what is this? The water that's flowing from the direction, as I'm slowly demonstrating, is actually still flowing in the same direction, but it's rising, which is the most bizarre thing ever, because normally, another water source would actually push the water current and force it to do, like, a, a fighting, like, they're both gonna try to go in the same direction, but this one's actually, it's still flowing in the same direction, and it's actually going upwards, and, um, the reason why I, I'm, I made this for you guys is because, watch this, just watch this. So, say if a cow fell in this, this is what's gonna happen. It gets pulled into the fire, and it actually just dies like that. So, if I do it again... Um, so whatever, whatever falls in here is actually gonna get sucked into this thing, and that's gonna be pretty deadly. So, this trick... Actually, well, there's also another thing. If you do, if you put a cover on the top, like this... Actually, wait, that, that's not a good example. We need a big cow. So if you put something on the top here, or uh, yeah, never mind, doesn't really matter. But as you can see, this is actually like a really interesting way to make a like a mob, like a mob trap almost. Not a mob spawn or a mob trap, just in case you want to make like some sort of defense. And whoa, that was weird. So let's just put like glass right there. So as you can see, just another take another good look. There's fi there's clearly fire right under water, and there's water coming from the sides, but the water the fire is not extinguishing, and because of that, anything that comes in, I can put like a bunch of cows. They're gonna get sucked into the fire by the water current, and um, because I put this block on top, the water they can't escape, and the fire is going to just burn them to death. So yeah, this is a really interesting kind of water glitch. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm the only, I'm the first one to discover it because I've never seen this before. I'm gonna call this the... What should I call it? I'm gonna call this the, uh, what kind of theory should I call it? Let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna call it the easy effect, okay? That's, that's what I'm gonna call it from now. So, this glitch is officially called the easy effect. Easy effect. Easy effect. Easy effect. There you go. I said four times, just in case. So, what the easy effect is, is basically water and fire that can mix and won't extinguish the fire. There's nothing, there's like no rock, no stones gonna be made because obviously this is like one of the greatest glitches I've ever actually discovered myself. And I've actually invented myself as well. Because I haven't seen this at all, any, like anywhere on Google. And I th I'm pretty sure I've made, I've invented this. So, again, if you weren't watching, anything that gets, it's gonna get like, uh, the water is going to pull it into the fire. And because there's a water block on top of the fire, um, the, the cow's gonna try to escape from the top, but if you've blocked it up like I did, then there's literally no chance for this thing to survive. So if you can actually imagine this on survival, any zombie or creeper that even gets onto this thing, I'll, I'll just demonstrate it right now. Uh, actually, wait, no, that's a bad idea, because if I do that, then I, actually, then I myself can't get out. So, let's just do another example. So say we get like a pig, just falls in here. Clearly, just uh, as you can see, it gets sucked in here, and then this current is going to force it to go upwards, and that fire is going to burn it to death. As you can see, it's just burning in there, and it's not going to survive. As you can see, it even got, it's, it's actually getting pushed from the water to this current, but um, the water on the bomb is actually trying to force it uh, back onto the thing, so I'm just going to kill it right there. So, yeah, this is the easy effect. This is probably the weirdest but coolest glitch ever. So now you can actually mix water and fire together. So yeah, that's gonna be end for, that's gonna mean that's going to be the end for this video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, cool water glitch called the Easy Effect that I've just made up, and that I've also invented by the way. And uh, you can actually try this for yourself in, in creative mode and survival mode. 
just keep in mind that in survival mode, it's going to be very difficult to make because you need to find some, you need to find an ice biome, and you need to carefully get an ice block without any water underneath. Otherwise, it's not going to work. You're also going to need netherrack if you if you're going to plan on doing this in survival mode. But you can try this for yourself in creative mode. It's really freaking cool. And um, if you want to look at the exact pattern, it's just like this. And um, yeah, so you can just clearly see this is just so weird. And again, if you want to mess it up, this is what happens. Say you take this block off. Yep, there you go. So this is what would have happened. So now that I've taken the block off from the top, now the water is actually pushing and making the normal effect that you normally see, as you can see. So that is why the easy trick, the easy effect does work. Um, you just have to build it really carefully. Because see, I just took off a block and now it's completely broken. The fire underneath now is extinguished, so that's why. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the easy effect that I've uh, invented. Leave a like if you've uh, really liked this uh, weird glitch and you want to try it for yourself. Also, leave any comments if you want to say anything about this glitch or you have anything to say about for other glitches that you may or may not know. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. So peace out, and... The TNT right there. And, oh yeah, can't light it up, can I? No, I can't. Well, this is lighted up with fire. So, we're gonna see you guys then. So, peace out, and later. Pow. Pow. There you go. Beautiful. That beautiful plus sign. So, yeah, see you guys then.